on the second paragraph. Now, therefore, I, Lieutenant Colonel Tubu Emeka Odumegu Ojuku, Military Governor of Eastern Nigeria, by virtue of authority and pursuant to the principles recited above, do hereby solemnly proclaim that the territory and region known and called Eastern Nigeria, together with her continental shelf and territorial waters, shall henceforth be an independent sovereign state of the name and title of the Republic of Biafra. And I do declare that all political ties between us and the Federal Government of Federal Republic of Nigeria are hereby totally dissolved. All subsisting contractual obligations entered into by the Government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by any person, authority or organization or government acting on its behalf with any person, authority or organization operating or relating to any matter or thing within the Republic of Biafra shall henceforth be deemed to be entered into with military governor of the Republic of Biafra for the for and on behalf of the government and people of the Republic of Biafra and the covenant thereof shall subject to this declaration be perfect be performed by the parties according to their territory or ten. All subsisting international treaties and obligations made on behalf of Eastern Nigeria by the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria shall be honored and respected. Eastern Nigeria due, Eastern Nigeria is due share of all subsisting international debts and obligations entered into by the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. On behalf of the Federation of the Nigeria shall be honored and respected. Steps will be taken to open discussions of the questions of Eastern Nigeria, Eastern Nigeria's due share of the assets of the Federal Federation of Nigeria and personal properties of the citizens of Biafra throughout the Federation of Nigeria. The rights, privileges, permit, per, pensions, EDC of all personnel of the public services, the armed forces and the police now serving in any capacity within the public Republic of Biafra are hereby guaranteed. We shall keep the door open for association with and will we welcome any sovereign unit or units in the former Federation of Nigeria or in any other part of Africa desirous of association with us for the purposes of running a common services organizations and for the establishment of economic ties. We shall protect the lives and property of all foreigners residing in Biafra. We shall extend the hand of friendship to those nations who respect our sovereignty and shall repel any interference in our internal affairs. We shall faithfully adhere to the charter of the United Nations of the Organization of African Unity and of the United Nations Organization. It is our intention to remain a member of the British Commonwealth of Nations in our rights as a sovereign independent nation. Long live the Republic of Biafra and may God protect all who live in her. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra.
All Biafra. All hail Biafra. Thank you. Yeah. What is this about? Do you know about Biafra? Have you heard about Biafra, a nation called Biafra? No. Okay, I'm going to explain to you. Biafra is a nation that has been in existence for over 5,000 years. America is too young. Britain is too young. Biafra is a nation of Africa that has been in existence. This thing I am telling you is not a makeup story. It's a fact. Biafra is a, a nation that had its infrastructures that was properly structured, that had been in existence for over 5,000 years. Before the Europeans came in the 1700s and early 1800s and decided to split the land of Africa. So today we are being slaughtered. If you look over there, you will see Biafrans who you will see those who are who fought for Biafra and those who died for Biafra. There's another over there, people who have been killed. So the question is, why now? The thing, the reason why it is now is because our president, the United States President Obama, whom I voted for, I'm an American like everybody else, whom I worked for, voted for tried, did whatever he can to install an Islamic Islamic, imbecilic Islamic radical called Mohammed Buhari uneducated man who doesn't understand what the law says, neither does he understand obey the law himself so he is murdering ordinary people as we are here if this is in Nigeria, we could have been all been shot, we could have been lying down here with pools of blood this is a fact. It's not a made-up story. So when you go home, you let people know that you make Biafra. Biafra is a nation that has been in existence before the existence of British Britain and the United States. What we are asking for right now is that we were put together with imbecilic Muslim Islamic uh, 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 radicals who are killing our women, killing our children, and murdering our people. And we had a civil war in 1967. 1967 to 1970. And Biafran, over 6 million Biafran were murdered. Mother. You understand? The whole world is looking this way while we are protesting all over the world. Calling on the whole world to wake up. When we lift our hands, no man, believe me, no man is immortal. No man, it doesn't matter what you have, your nuclear weapon, it doesn't matter. No man has one single monopoly. Believe me, in a war, you're going to die. If you don't die, your, your soldiers will die. If your soldiers don't die, you, all, you will drain your economy. If your economy, if you don't drain your economy, somehow you lose. So war is not encouraging. But if Buhari, if the world keep, keep quiet as they have been keeping quiet, look at bare friends who are murdered. Look, look, at, look at my people. For protesting. All For protesting on the streets. My people are murdered and killed. This is what we are talking about. Look at it there. This is, this is, this is, this is horrible. If you don't look down where there, there's some more, some ugly pictures all over the place. So what I am saying is that there is no nation that is immortal. There's no, no, it doesn't matter what weapon you have. It doesn't matter what weapon you have. Your nuclear weapon, even nuclear weapon that was dropped on Hiroshima, only, only 80, 84,000 people died. Only 84,000. Is 84,000 6 billion people on, on the planet? You can only do this much. So the, the nonsense, the notion, that when you have a nuclear weapon or you have some metals put together and some gunpowder inside it that therefore you have you can you can other people doesn't exist i mean the, the mentality is so is it's so neanderthal it's broken who, who, who is 
causing this? Well, who is causing this? The, co the cause of this is greed. The cause of this is greed. Nations wake up and they say, well, we have geopolitical agenda. How dare you? What's your geopolitical agenda to go and grab somebody else's stuff? To go and in, in, impoverish other nations and just for your own sake. But there is something about human nature. Nature, believe me, it doesn't matter who you are. Nature balances itself. So for 20 years, you're going to do it. For you may succeed doing it up to 100 years. But after that, nature balances it back and bring you to where you were when you started this your evil. The, real, the, only, the only difficulty is that it takes a long time because before all of this killing and before nature balances it, the majority of us who talked about it must have gone. But if the question is, is nature going to balance it? Of course, yes. The Biafran government? Is it the... Biafran government? Biafran government? Well, we are looking for... We are looking for a way to free ourselves from... From, from subjugation. And marginalization from the Nigerian government. On... With... Behind it... Behind the Nigerian government is the British government. You see the connection? Right. Oh, why? Because we own the oil. The oil that make Nigeria rich... We own the oil. They try to divide us between us and our brothers. This is Niger Delta. That's what you're going to be hearing in the news because CNN is fond of carrying it quickly. The ugly one that doesn't favor, that's what they carry. They like to carry these news because to Americans, oh, that's some African, some tribe in Africa. Oh. You see, the thing just goes over your head like this. You won't make meaning out of it. But meanwhile, millions of people are being killed. So what we are saying here is that this today is 28th of May. We are supposed to celebrate our heroes. Those heroes who died, we are supposed to be celebrating. That's why you see these people here. They are all bare friends. We are celebrating our heroes. People who died, who know us. People who even didn't know us. If you look there, you're going to see Steve. You see, this is Bruce Merrick. Bruce Merrick, who is it? Look at it. Read that there. Bruce Merrick, this is where he died, right there, in 1968. Bruce Merrick died there. Because of their friends, Bruce Merrick died. Bruce Merrick is a Long Island, uh, uh, um, sorry, a Columbia University, 20 year old young man, very, very bright bright and brilliant he knew at his age he knew what was going on so he knew that their friends that were being killed in Biafran land and he protected everything he could to get the attention of uh, Richard Nixon but he couldn't being frustrated he lit himself on fire here at the United Nations and it was just to drive the message home for them to understand the need to stop killing people and stop the, the massacre in Biafra land. It's been going on for so long. How long are we going to endure this? The same, the same psychological effect he had on, on, on Steve Jobs. This is Steve Jobs here. In 1968, Steve Jobs took a mag Time magazine uh, newspaper, the magazine, and went to his pastor and asked him, does God know about these children that are standing? I mean, at 10 years old, he could not believe it. He could not believe it that this type of atrocity could happen. And Steve Jobs asked his boss, his uh, pastor, is this true? Can this really happen? When the pastor told him, oh, God knows everything, say, I will not worship that God that knows everything that can't do anything about this. And Steve Jobs rejected his faith. And to God Almighty, Chukwoki Kiabiyama, whom we call Chukwoki Kiabiyama, you guys call him God in English. We call him Chukwoki Kiabiyama because we are Israelites. You hear me? 
Tukwo Kikabiyama brought him to where he was before he died. The CEO of Apple. That's what it is. Up here, you see, these are people who gave their life for Biafra in 1967, 68, 69, and 1970. These are people. Look at them. Missionaries who gave their life for Biafra. Up here, these are our generals. The second in command, that's the, the first in command, the, the people's general. These are people who gave their life for our people. So it's a very big story. If you go online, you're going to see Biafrans everywhere. We are everywhere. People walk around and they say, oh, what are they saying? Are they stupid? What is that there? Yes, it, you can do it because you're complex. You have enough and you, you, things are okay with you. You don't have anybody killing your mother or, si or father or sister. But we have our brothers dying every day. That's why we forgot everything we have today to come here to honor them. You have any more questions, sir? God bless you. Nice to meet you. Huh? What kind of hell? Well, if you want to hang around with us and fly flower flags, why not? Have a T-shirt. We have. Yeah, you learn a little more as you as you sit around. Yes, umunem there one. My brothers, the floor is open. We are from people. We are republic. We have the opportunity to say what we want, when we want to say it, here we want to say it. All of you, all of our brothers and sisters who want to say something about their fatherland, please come. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Today, what's your back? What's your back? One hundred five. Yeah. Okay, we got to that boy. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. Today, we are all here to remember our people that were murdered by British and the Zoo government. When we say Zoo government, that means I do. We're supposed to have these on the project. That means on Monday. But we cannot get the part. I don't know the reason why. Even here, where we are now, they just give us only two hours to operate our schedules because today is Shabbat. So we are observing Shabbat with our brothers. This was the reason why I said to Uche Mefor that we have our reason of bringing our rally and the demonstration here in the ground of the United Nations right across. This is the area where our brother May Rock, uh, Bruce Mayrock, Paul Mayer, sure on himself and born himself alive and died for Biafra. He's not an evil or evil, he's a white man, but he believes in Biafra. He kills himself and some other people like that. They die for the cause of Biafra in this area. So that's why we choose this ground to do the remembrance of our heroes. The reason why we are here today is to wake up the spirit of this young man, Bruce Mayrock, and our children that were starved to death. They were poisoned, not starved to death. They put poison in their food. That's why you can see their stomach is swollen. up. The British put poison on their food and they were poisoned. These are the pictures we have here. Um, please, um, no, I want to find, um, listen, um, I'm, very, I'm, I'm a safety guy. I've been in the military, I know what safety is. There's a briefcase that's behind it. Do anybody know about if that briefcase comes with the, the scripture, the statue? Does that briefcase come with the statue? If it doesn't come with the statue, we have to move the other side. For the same reason, that briefcase over, does he come with a statue? Yes. Does he come with a statue? Yes. Then we have to move back a little bit. Does he 
come with it. Now I'm doing it. This is safety. The, the most important thing, you know, the safety comes first. Okay? If it's an explosive, it will affect a lot of people here. I know how it works. It comes with it. Okay. Yes. Because if, if it's an explosive, it would it will kill a lot of people. I know how it works. Okay? Somebody so gotta be sure. Uh, we wanna be sure and safety comes first. If that briefcase comes with that statue, fine. If it doesn't, you have to move away from here. Please do what you're doing. I just call the police. Let them come and figure it out. It has nothing to do with us. So but but uh, let us see. there. Sorry, before you call the cops. You can just check the efficacy of security guys. No, that's in the room. That's in the room. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 The